Hello there, Scorpio. Welcome to your You versus Them reading. It's for September, but whenever you happen to come across it, if you're meant to see it at another time, then that's when you're meant to see it. And it's going to be you on this side, your person on this side. And let's see what we have going on. Oh, I think. Okay, there we go. I think that's even. Okay, let's see. What are your thoughts about them? Mm, you're confused. Might have a lot of options in love, don't you? Ooh, yeah, you're stuck here. You're not sure. Maybe you don't trust them or you just have a lot of options, I think. <laughs> okay, Pisces energy there with the hangman. So, you know, seeing things in a different perspective. Waiting it out because you're not really too sure. Okay, we do have temperance here. Balancing things out. This is another wait card here. So, yeah, you're being very patient. You're waiting here. Let's see, why do we have the seven of cups for you? The chariot. These options might have came to you all at once, or something's moving quick. Yeah, or maybe some just, you know, yeah, I feel like some of you got all these people coming out of the woodwork here. What about this Ace of Cups? Ooh, the sun, happiness. Okay, so when you think about them, I think you get pretty happy. A Leo energy. What about the hangman? The page of swords. Okay. Are you watching them? Are you trying to figure out what they're up to? You know, if you could trust them. The page source of oh, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. You could be. Ooh, Ace of Wands. A lot of passion here. A lot of desire. There might be a fiery start with this person again. Let's see. What are their thoughts about you? What are their thoughts about you, Scorpio? Ooh. They have the temperance too. Sagittarius energy. I think they think that you blend together well. They're trying to make a decision. They're looking back at the past, though. That's a past card. Oh, you are their wishes and dreams come true, though. Aquarius energy. So we have Sagittarius, Aquarius. Yeah, they're looking back at you. They see you. Mm -hmm. oh, ooh, the Wheel of Fortune, Divine Timing, Destiny. Okay, let's clarify this Temperance. Why is the Temperance card here? Oh, Leo energy, strength. They might need the strength to come towards you. They might, well, they probably see you as really strong, too. Okay, what about the two of wands? Ooh, two of pentacles, making a decision here. Boy, you guys are both on the fence. You have many options. They have a couple options, or they're just trying to decide whether or not you would be interested. What about the star? Because they do hide hold you in high regard here. They see you as a star. Ooh, a tower? Airy Scorpio energy. Your energy's right there. I don't know. They might shock you. They're, they're thinking about shocking you or something's shocking here. The Empress. I think they see you as an Empress. Libra Taurus energy, but it's someone that is um, very fertile, very creative, abundant. This is one of the most abundant cards in the deck. I mean, if you're thinking of... Um, babies here they would definitely think of you being perfect match for them for babies okay now let's see what about your feelings towards this person the world okay so you're feeling like may you give this another shot you know that something ended maybe they'll um start it up again Ooh, but it has to be with the truth the ace of swords okay maybe I don't know. You're not sure. There might have been a missed opportunity. or But the truth has to come out here with the Ace of Swords. The World card is ending for a new beginning. And then the Four of Wands is like someone either is not seeing this offer or missed the opportunity. Or you're thinking about whether or not this person will even want this offer. But do we have the King of Swords? Queerest Libra Gemini. Someone might be really uh, kind of um, stern here. Uh, wanting the truth. I do feel very strong desire to this has to have truth in this situation. Okay, let's um let's clarify this world. Why is the world here? Ooh, the world again. Wow. Okay, that's definitely confirming. This is your feelings are you really would like to start something again with this person. What about this ace of swords? Three of Wands. Okay, you're waiting for the right time to speak your truth. Or hoping that they come to you. You're, you might be waiting for them to come to you. Because we did have a lot of waiting cards for you. We have the hangman. We have the, um, the 
Wait, call. What's this card? <laughs> Temperance. I couldn't think of it. Okay, now we have the Two of Cups here. Yeah. Okay, you feel like this person could be your soulmate, your your um, partner, and there's something's hiding or something. You're not seeing something. Either you're you don't want to see something, and then you have the swords in front of you. Decision time, and you're not able to make it for some reason or another. Maybe you're not. If someone feels a little bit stern here. I don't know if that's your energy or their energy. Take it the way it resonates with you. It'll be different for different people. Let's see. What are their feelings for you? What are their feelings for you, Scorpio? Ooh, the Queen of Swords. Well, we do have a match set. You guys are both very intelligent. Speak your truth. And maybe that's the whole thing. You have to come together and have a little powwow and speak your truth. Ah, here's... They're feeling that there should be a, they should send you a message or get a hold of you somehow. Reach out. They're feeling to, to reach out to talk to you. They want to speak to you. Uh, this could be an email, a text, phone call, even a letter. And we have here getting the strength to do so. Again, the strength card. I think this person is a little intimidated by you. Yeah, look at this. They know that you have, um, comp there's competition for your love here. They know it. They're going to have to fight the others off in order to win your love. You started out with the Seven of Cups. You have options, and they know it. What about this Queen of Swords? Okay, Four of Pentacles. Someone's either really holding on to what they believe, or they're they're being stubborn. I'm looking at this card as being stubborn, holding on to something, not budget. This is the way they see you, maybe. That maybe there's a certain way that you like things done, and they, they don't do it that way, and you won't budge from that. Now, that's not going to be for everyone, but that's what I feel. They're also feeling, you know, they want to hold on to you. They don't want to lose you. What about this page of wands? Ooh, ace of wands. They want to, they feel a lot of passion for you. They really do want to, they, you might get a love letter. Because here's some kind of communication or a real ooey gooey mushy um, phone call or something. Okay, what about the strength card? Why is the strength card here? Ooh, the wheel of fortune again. Wow. They're, they feel like you're supposed to be together. I think they're very attracted to you. The Queen of Wands here. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But I think they're, they find you very attractive. And um, they can't stop thinking about you. Okay, now, what action might you take towards them? What action might you take towards them? Let's see. Mm, there's a sneaky action there. Ooh, eight. Wow, okay. Whoa, the magician, you are manifesting something here. Okay, you're going to hold back, but you want to know what's going on. You're ready to walk away, but you're also ready to make a commitment here. Here's the Ace of Pentacles. You might surprise them. You might just show up. But you're going to do it in a sneaky way with this five here. Or it also could be that you're, you're kind of concerned about other people around them. Maybe there's other people that interfered here. This is also walking away from something. Okay, let's clarify. Why do we have this Five of Swords here? Why is the Five of Swords here, please? Ooh, the High Priestess. <sighs> I don't know. I think your intuition is, is leading you to what to do here. And I think you want to go towards them, but you're not going to, you know, you're not going to just say, hey, I'm crazy about you. You're going to just see what happens here. I think you're going to hold back. You guys might also be connecting on the Fifth Dimension here. You might have maybe not seen each other in the th third dimension, but you might be connected on the fifth. You might be dreaming about each other. But there's something a little, you know, what about this this five of swords? It's like, is someone doing something they shouldn't be doing? What about the ace of pentacles? Why is the ace of pentacles? And the, the high priest is Virgo and um, cancer energy. We have the king of pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You might be doing quite well now at this point and you know doing you're financially stable you might make it some kind of offer to this person okay what about the tower four of pentacles whoa okay so holding back surprising someone it almost feels like you're holding back now all of a sudden boom you might be there you might just show up okay we did have nine swords okay you're not sleeping at night you are able to manifest here, though. We have the Magician, which is, to me, is Aries and Aquarius energy. You know, something's a-brewing. I don't know what you're doing, but something's a-brewing. <laughs> okay, let's see. What action might they take towards you? 
Ooh. Okay, Capricorn. Can't decide here. And the Emperor. Ooh, what's going on? And they, you do make them happy. Okay, now with the cap, they might be obsessing over this connection. They don't know what to do. They, they, they don't want to let go of control. This person seems like they want to be in control. Aries energy with the Emperor. Can't decide what to do though. Two of Swords. Why is the Devil card here? Six of Wands. They want victory. They are obsessed over having victory with you. They want to have this connection here. What about the Two of Swords? Whoa! Look at that. Came flying out. And we have two here. We have the Eight of the Knight of Wands, which is a very fast card. And we have the Chariot, Cancer Energy, Knight of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This person might all of a sudden, out of the blue, just show up at your doorstep. Because this is very fast energy. And this is like all of a sudden, boom, they're moving. And, um, but they're, they're not sure yet. They don't know themselves, but that's, I almost feel like they, they don't know what to do, but they might all of a sudden just one day wake up and say, ah, today's the day I'm doing it. Okay, what about this emperor? Ah, <laughs> then we're waiting. Look at this. Move, wait, move. They want a victory with you. Um, we do have the moon hiding their emotions. Pisces energy. Could be Cancer or Scorpio, but this is, um, someone has a lot of feelings for you. You both have a tower, so there's going to be surprise. I think you're surprising each other. Something's happening here. Okay, let's see. Let's see what your mutual en energy is here. What's going on between the two of you? What's the mutual energy, please? Deception. Things are not as they seem. Watch out for dishonesty. Okay. I was wondering about this Five of Swords here. I don't know who that is, but someone's not going to be open about things. I think you both have deep feelings for each other and neither one is saying it that's where i'm getting from the deception i don't think either one is just speaking the truth here okay let's see wheel of luck all things are aligned in your favor luck is on your side okay wheel of fortune keeps on wanting to come up too so yeah i think you both feel like this is destined okay and then we have challenges negative unhealthy obstacles are upon you be careful might be other I, sometimes i feel like this card is someone else trying to keep you apart family okay here we go the conflict is resolved. The healing has begun. That's what this says. But I feel like the family, someone's family is agreeing to agree about this connection, but they don't. I don't feel they do. I feel that's this was high, hidden here with this moon card and this five of um, swords. I don't know whose side that's on, whether it's you or theirs, but it could be different for different people. Let's see what kind of messages we get from this person now. What do they want to tell Scorpio? What are the messages? Now, these are going to be different. Take the ones that seem right to you because it's general reading. A lot of different people. So there'll be different messages for different people. Let's see. We have the grass wasn't greener on the other side. Okay. I never forgotten you, even though you think I have. And you are an angel. You are the angel. And they're the devil. <laughs> okay. Maybe it's vice versa. Okay. What else do we have here? I'm finally feeling the consequences of my action. Okay. Just take what resonates. And it says, I'm a better person because of you. Oh, yeah. That feels very strong. This person really admires you. They have you as the empress. They put you on a pedestal. Please don't take what happened personally. It's not you it's me and then we have i don't know if i can meet your expectations that absolutely this person doesn't feel like they're good enough for you okay now let's get some more more messages here for scorpio please what are the messages we have even though i don't show it i am sorry for how things went between us yeah they don't like to express themselves they have a hard time they're kind of back, um shy and then we have i just want you to be happy I believe that. Let's see. You're all I ever wanted. I think they realized it too late. Let's see here. We have. I. It really was me, not you. Again, they're saying that. I don't think it, you really thought it was you. <laughs> so I don't know. I'm trying to do the honorable thing. Okay. Whatever that means for whoever. <laughs> means different things. I'm still trying to find myself. Oh boy. That's where that hesitation is with the hangman. You are irreplaceable. Absolutely. They know it. 
they know what they messed up on. Let's see what signs we have for you guys. What are the signs, please, for Scorpio? What are the signs? We have Pisces, Aries, oops, Cancer. Cancer want to come out again. Virgo and Capricorn. Okay, so this could be placements in your chart, placement in other people's charts, past, present, and future. We have here Pisces, Aries, Cancer, Cancer, Virgo, Capricorn. Now for the letters. We're going to do 11 letters for initials. First name, last name. If you get both the first and last and someone has the middle name, you know that initial. If you get that, all the better. Past, present, future, and also your own initials. We have O, I, A, O, A, look at the vowels, wow, I, oh my gosh, R, that's why I have extra die, so, <laughs> okay, N, oh, sorry, that's not M, that's a M, yeah, M, K, U, I again, wow. All right, so the letters we have for today are O A O I A O A R M K U say N two because I said it by mistake and I. Now we'll see what names are want to come up. We'll do at least eleven names for you guys. And I'm sorry if I mispronounce these names. A lot of these names I don't, I, I you know, I'm not used to. And thank you everybody who has submitted names for the heal the daily healing and. I'll be the drawing at the end of the readings. Thank you. Okay, now we have Terrell, T E R R E L L, Dini, D I N I, Craig, Rosemary, Keisha, K Y E S H A, I'm sorry if I mispronounced that, Diane, um, Grace. I think I got extra here, but that's okay. Jeffrey, Corey, C O R E Y, Linda. So, so far we have 10. Okay. Lori, L O R I, Kathleen. I'll get 13. And Carleen. Oh, look at that. Kathleen and Carleen. K A T H L E E N. And Carleen is C A R L E E N. All right, guys. So, those are names. Now remember, these are general readings. They are not personal readings. Just take the parts that resonate. Leave the parts that don't. It's going to be different for everyone. So, And you might do vice versa, whatever you need to do. Um, please leave me a comment. Let me know if anything resonates. I love you guys so much. I appreciate all your likes, shares, subscribes, and comments. And I hope to see you all again real soon. Thank you.